The Celtic manager, Angie Postacogla's early Celtic transfer targets were drawn up as Mohaned G switched to spark more movements. The Celtic FC boss admits, he hopes to get his business done early with Champions League group stage football on the horizon. And the Celtic manager, says he is still under pressure at Celtic as he looks to raise the bar at Celtic. Angie Postacogla has revealed he has already drawn up his transfer target list for the summer. The Celtic boss is known for organising his recruitment plans early and it looks like he's set to do so again. Mohaned Gies is on the verge of a £2 million switch from Hammerby and could be available for pre-season. And the manager insists he has plans in place for an assault on the Champions League group stages should that be secured and confirmed tomorrow evening. Asked if he and the club have their plans in place, he responded, yeah, most definitely. The work has already started we're already planning, and I've already had conversations with the club, about the kind of players we want to identify and bring into the club. Our priority is to try to get that done early so that come pre-season, with us hopefully winning the Premiership and getting straight into the group stage, we know we've got a really good opportunity in pre-season to work with the group of players without the pressure of competition. It would be great if we could have all the new players in by that time. Sometimes these things are taken out of your hands a little bit, but our intent is to try to get our business done early. We know what we need, we've already identified the areas we need to improve, so we've already started work on that. Mohaned G's left back has been on the radar at Parkhead for months and the club have been in talks with the players side Hammerby. Celtic travel to Tayside, needing just a solitary point to clinch the Premiership title, for the tenth time in eleven seasons when they line up against Dundee United, this evening. While any sort of result will seal the deal for the boys, no doubt Angie Postacogla and the fans will be looking for an emphatic performance from the champions-elect, that will really put the cherry on top of what has been a remarkable turnaround this season by a completely rebuilt Celtic team. In years to come when people reflect back on this season, it will be about the sheer scale of the turnaround that has happened under the stewardship of Postacogla especially when considering the conditions that awaited upon his arrival. The how fiasco, derision from the media and some quarters of the wider footballing community upon Ange's confirmation, an unstable chief executive backdrop and a slew of players either wanting away or needing to be replaced. To think that now, on the back of 30 games undefeated and a 12-point turnaround in less than four months and being able to maintain that form, turning a six-point deficit at the winter break into a six-point advantage now cannot be understated. The bold timeline, set out by the Celtic boss for completing the summer recruitment drive. Celtic manager Angie Postacogla has earmarked his squad's return for pre-season in late June, as the time by which he hopes to have completed his player recruitment for next season. On to tonight's game, what do you think the score will be? And who will be the first to score? And don't worry I have got a few ideas for videos over the summer that will keep you all focused on everything Celtic. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans, all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the